What is going on, peeps? Long time no see. I am... <sighs> well, I apologize. <laughs> um, I'm actually still kind of on my uh, my trip. I got stuck up, stuck up here another week. I haven't made it back home yet. Um, and actually, I mean, hopefully soon enough this will be home. But I do still have to go back to Florida, uh, kind of cross my T's and dot my I's. But um, anyways, my reception up here in the mountains isn't the greatest. Um, I really haven't been in game a whole lot lately. But regardless, I'm super past due on some, some videos I've been trying to do. Um, let me pick my Bluetooth up. Hold on. Okay. All right. Hopefully you can hear me. Anyways, um, all right. So to make your own march formation, which was the first video that I uh, kind of have been wanting to do for a while now, um, there's a lot of things that come into play. First, you know, you can have dragon skills that increase march capacity um, and rally capacity as well. Um Let's see, I know, yep, there's a march. I got a couple of those, actually. I don't know where the other one went. Um, but yeah, so you can increase your march size. Um, you can also do that in the drill grounds, I believe it is. Uh, let's see, yep, that's for marching troops. Also, if you expand it, marching troop cap. Um, but anyway, so that's for size. Um Another thing you want to take into consideration are artifacts. Now, the Freyr's Crown artifact actually has a pretty neat skill. Uh, it is called Rally. <laughs> um, but anyways, it is, if a marched unit of soldiers reaches 20% of the total march size, then this unit's attack will increase. Right now, I have mine at 16%. So that's 16% um, attack increase to any of the troops whose numbers total 20% of my max um, march capacity. So that's just another thing you can take into consideration. Um, I really like that skill. <laughs> um, you can also increase your size through the civilization you use. I'm not sure if I just went over that or not, but this current civilization who actually does it. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but whatever. And, um, of course, hero. Now you have your governor, which will increase your rally size. Um, will also... Increase. Oh, I got something better for both of these. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Um, you can increase your your march size, your march capacity, uh, your rally size, uh, whatever. You know, having a good governor is is key, and also having a good governor set on that governor with the proper corresponding gems, increase your embassy, increase your match, or match, increase your march, increase your march when joining a rally, yada, 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 so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see what the position itself gives. So, yeah, the, um, this is what you're looking for when trying to choose a right governor. Those are the attributes um, that you want to upgrade or focus on or make sure the hero has in the skill tree or equipment or whatever. Neither here nor there. This is strictly, I'm just kind of um, giving you some ideas on how to increase march capacity, I guess, or rally capacity. Um, also, there are dragon stones, Millions of people for the one uh, aimed at castles. And then you have, I think it's called Sea of Legions. Yeah. And that's aimed at the throne. But, all right. Anyways, back to the topic, how to make your own march. So, <sighs> 
a lot of people use march formations that other people make for them by looking at their troop um, or their reports or whatever, which is all important. Um, also, people in alliances, the uh, rally setters might want you to use a certain march formation when joining a rally. Uh, whatever it is, you know, there's all all kinds of different reasons why other people um, make your march uh, formations. It's not a good idea. No one else is going to know your troops better than you. And I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. Um, so what you want to do when figuring out what kind of march you need to set is go into your battle reports and take a look at your offensive attacks. And you want to see which troops are your better troops, if you don't already know. Look at the statistics. And it's not just about attack, defense, and health. Um, it's not even just about damage and damage received. There are so many statistics that make a big difference while in battle. All right, so you don't need to just look at those main ones, which you can to get a good understanding. But there's all of this other stuff that makes a difference in battle. So besides just looking at the report and looking at the numbers, you want to take a look at the actual um, report itself. Oh, well, that's not nice. Why'd you guys do that? What kind of reinforcements are these idiots sending? <laughs> um... You want to take a look at the actual report and look at your troops. See which ones were killed. See which ones survive. And see which ones kill the most. That's your main objective when looking at the reports to try to figure out which, uh, which troops you want to be heavy on um, when making your formation. So uh, in case you didn't know... This little thingy majig right here is your troops that survived. This little thing below it with the sword is the total number of troops that were killed by this troop. Not by the surviving, but it includes the surviving and your wounded and or dead. Alright, so you have survival. Below it, you have total kills, and on the right side, you have dead and wounded. So that's what you want to take a look at when deciding which troops you want to uh, be heavy with. And which troops really um, are non-consequential and just don't matter. So you go through your reports and figure out your troop-specific needs and, and whatnot. Now, when you're going to actually make a march... Um, and a big part of it comes into play, all right, if you have this artifact, this Freyr Crown, up to level 10, and if this skill, you know, makes a difference for you or not. I personally, um, you know, I'm, I like it. I try to make sure um, that my march formations have 20% of at least one of my killing troops. Uh, sometimes it, it doesn't work like that, but whatever. Anyways, so when you're going to make your attack, let me just choose, um, let me go here. All right, now, the first thing I like to do, all right, you're going to go in and clear everything out. And I feel like this is actually really important, um, even if you don't use it all the time, but just to set up your march formations, what I would suggest doing is setting your march to use percentiles instead of numerical values. What did I miss here? Aha! Uh -huh. Bastards are trying to hide. All right, get rid of your hero, get rid of your dragon, get rid of that thingy majig. All right, so now you're in your march queue. Right down, I believe it's that right there. 
go ahead and change it to percentage. So that way it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what your march capacity is, whether it's a single attack or a rally, whether there's only a hundred thousand um, spots left for reinforcement, whatever it is, you want to set your march up by using percentages so that why that way it can be applicable to rallies, to solo marches, to reinforcements for your caravan sitting in the catapults, filling the throne, whatever it is, there's different march capacities at different times whether it's during kingdom conquest or mineral vein or in the sea or in your kingdom or in your opponent's kingdom march capacity changes all the time whether you have a buff on or activate lord skill or change equipment whatever so making your march formation with percentages what that means is instead of saying all right i want ten thousand griffin knights i want Whatever my march capacity is, I want 10% of that march capacity to be Griffin Knight. So right now, yeah, it's a certain amount, 10% of 441,000, all right, whatever. But then if I go to send a march um, and my march cap is, let's say, 300,000, I can still get that 10%. But even furthermore, what, why I feel like percentages are important for, let's say, my account is because of that Friar Crown skill, 20% um, increase the attack, yada, yada, yada. So I make sure that I try to do like my T12 archers are going to be 20%. And my T11 Vogelman are going to be 20%. Offensively, these are probably two of my best troops. Um, and whatever else you can do it for as well. Um, but, you know, you want to go through and you want to get your important troops first. When deciding, um, you know, how many of each other thing, just always remember that layers are key. Layers, layers, layers. Um, and so in saying that, you want all the armaments for the troops that you have in there. You don't even have to have a lot. You can go in there and... Um, put 0.5, all right, so have 0.5% of these armaments and, and, you know, whatever else, but you want to go through and set each one of your marches, whether it's a single march, whether it's a reinforcement, whether it's for the throne or, or, you know, anything else, you want to go set your marches ahead of time because trying to, trying to, specify a march formation while you're sitting in the middle of a battle or in the middle of an event or something like that. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and choose my first formation. And I still have 10,000 open, so it sucks to try to go through here and say, all right, out of 10,000, I want, um, let's see, 2,000 more Pegasus, and I want uh, 5,000... 5,000 more um, siege and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Set it to percentages. Get it taken care of. The main thing is look in your reports, your offensive reports, and I suggest doing it with no skill, no buff, no anything, just so you can get the baseline down of your attack and you know which of your troops are the ones that you want more of. Another thing that will... Um, make a big impact are the heraldry enhancements. Um, so, you know, it's a lot of work and it takes, it's, it's a lot more than just uh, your governor set and the dragon on the wall and the dragon word, um, you know, creating March formations um, are pretty specific and unique to each individual castle. So anyone who was trying to figure out, what they need to do to make their own formations. Um, there you go. You know, go around and take a look and see what your important troops are. And um, yeah, use percentages. Always, always, always use percentages. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to help anyone. I don't know. I just want to get this video up. I got to run over to Walmart. I'm out of here. Peace.